Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Katja and this time I'm making a basic Iron Age or medieval wool dress. I need a wool underdress to go under my Iron Age peplos, but this simple dress works for several eras. This dress is a very simple in design. Here is a sketch of the pattern layout on the fabric. It is not on scale, but you'll get the idea. Narrow the sleeves down slightly to make them more fitting. I already made this linen shift to test out the pattern, so I'm just measuring the neckline of the linen dress to get a fitting neckline. To maximize the size of my gores, I cut this rectangular piece diagonally. If I had more fabric, I'd cut the pieces along the grain line, but this will work as well. I couldn't help myself, but I started sewing yesterday evening when it was too dark and I had run out of pottery, so I couldn't film it. But what I did was I sewed the shoulder seams and finished them, and then I sewed these squares to the edges of the sleeves. This is a sleeve, and this is one square and here is the other square on the other sleeve so there is like one square a sleeve and then it's folded like this to make room below the arm I fasten the sleeves but I haven't finished the edges 
and I attached one of the gussets now I need to attach the other gusset I noticed that sewing this wool is really fast it's much faster than sewing the linen under tunic that I made before I'm using wool embroidery thread which is very nice to sew with but I don't have very much of this so I'm using this other wool thread that is slightly paler in color to finish the seams I have a new chatelain necklace that is a thimble holder which means that I haven't actually lost my thimble for a few days so it's actually working the only thing is that it may open so I might have to put like a bead or something on the top that would hold it closed I'm using backstitch or sometimes running backstitch so the seams this this fabric is so thick the backstitch actually looks really nice I really like the look that it makes because my needle is slanted so it actually makes something that looks almost like a machine stitching from both sides. I press all the seams open, using a tailor's clapper creates a very smooth and neat result. I finished the neckline with a very narrow hem.
final thing to do is to hem the skirt and the sleeves. As the fabric doesn't fray, I only folded the hem in and slip stitches the fold in place. I left the sleeves a bit too long on purpose, however, I later shortened them as I found the long sleeves unpractical. This linen shift was sewn just like the woolen dress. It keeps the wool dress clean and reduces itchiness of the wool. Thank you for watching and please comment and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Bye!